Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jack Madrax on another episode of Yak Yak with Jack. That's me. And today, I am going to be talking about the second completed game that I have done since my return to the PS2. And that is none other than, drum roll please, True Crime, New York City. Now, I remember this game. I remember playing it a long time ago. Like, you know, just like all these games I have, you know. And, uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, going back and, uh, you know, um, this was, uh, this was basically, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I've heard a lot of people call it like it's like a ripoff of GTA, you know. But really, in my opinion, in my opinion, it is a, um, a neat little spin, you know, if you will. A, a twist on GTA. This, is, this game is where instead of playing as the criminal, you play as the cop. You know, and, uh, and, uh, it's, a uh, it's an open world, uh, you know, sandbox game, you know, like GTA, you know, you get to drive a whole bunch of fast cars and, uh, you get to go around shooting people and criminals or whatever. And, uh, so, and, um, however, even though you're a cop in this game, you can still be a bad guy. That's the cool part about true crime, New York City. That's one of the coolest things about it, is that you can choose to be a good cop, or you can be a bad cop, you know? All the evidence that you collect from uh, crime scenes and all that stuff, you can either be a good cop, you could take it and turn it into the evidence locker, or you can be a bad cop and you can go to one of the pawn shops in the game and sell it. Now, there's a lot of different, uh, uh, there's a lot of different, uh, I, um, uh, you know, street crimes that you can solve in this game, and it's just known as free roam time. You know, uh, the main missions are just, you know, the main missions, you know, uh, taking down, uh, uh, crime families that are strong in New York City and all that stuff. And those are, that that's what makes up the main mission. Uh, you know, uh, well, missions. Uh, and uh, that um, helps uh, progress you to the new, uh, uh, to the uh, conclusion of the primary story, which is, what happened to uh, uh, Terry, the other detective that Marcus was pretty much raised by, you know, and he showed him the ropes and all that, being a cop, whatever, and it all builds up after you take down the four crime families, you find out who the mole is in your unit, and it turned, well, Wow, who cares, you know, about spoilers, whatever. Uh, it turns out to be Terry. Okay, he didn't die in the explosion in the beginning. It was actually him. He was the mole, you know. And, uh, to tell you the truth, you know, um, I already knew the ending because I, I, I beat this game, you know, years back. But uh, now I'm going back on it. It was really kind of predictable. I think even back then, like 10 some years ago when I played this, uh, played this game, I think I already knew, you know. But anyways. Uh, let's see. Um, now the, uh, the variety of street crimes is just awesome, you know. I mean, I... I mean, why do the main story missions first, you know, just rush right through it, you know? Why, you know? Uh, when you got so many cool things that you can do in the free roam time, you know? 
and uh, like you uh, you get a call about a serial rapist in the area. Oh, that's fun as hell. You go in there, you you go into the apartment building or house or whatever it's happening in, and you're just going and you see this guy attacking this female. He's trying to rape her or some shit. You go in there and you just beat the hell out of him, you know? I mean, even when he put his hands up and he gave up and everything, I still just beat the crap out of him, you know? And, and uh, just threw him through some tables and stuff and, and I arrested him, you know? <laughs> awesome and uh you uh can uh, frisk random people on the street you know and uh that's fun you know sometimes they have something on them sometimes they don't you got to clean up all 20 districts of new york which is pretty fun you know and uh However, once you clean up those 20 districts, uh, it's pointless to uh, frisk uh, random um, pedestrians anymore because, you know, the, uh, they won't have anything illegal on them anymore, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, um, I would definitely recommend uh, if you have a PS2 and you have never played um, true crime, New York City, I would, uh, I would give it a, you know, I'd give it a try, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's like GTA, except you're the cop, and, uh, it's actually a lot of fun, you know, I mean, it, it really is, you know, I really enjoyed it, and, uh, I'm pretty sure anybody who likes GTA or the Godfather games, or, you know, just um, any sort of free roam type deal in a video game. I'm pretty sure that you'll dig this, okay? Um, now, after you beat the game, you unlock a mode called, uh, well, it's just a bonus mode. And you actually get to play as the real life rapper known as uh, Red Man. Oh, and let me tell you. I don't normally rage at a video game, but damn it, that mode made me rage, made me rage so hard, and I just, I just, I was just like, holy shit, you know, I mean, basically, uh, Red Man is trying to get out of New York City, get back to New Jersey, or whatever. And, uh, the whole city's just gone insane, and they're trying to kill you, you got cars trying to run you down, you got just random people trying to shoot you and stuff, and you gotta get to this place on the map, you know. Oh, man. Uh, and every time I got so damn close to the ferry, or wherever he's trying to go, one of those fucking cars run you over and just steal all your health <sighs> that is definitely something i'm gonna have to come back to because i have not beat the bonus mode yet for this and uh i'm not ashamed that i haven't beat it i'm just kind of pissed off that i haven't because i kind of sunk in like two hours into it and every time I got close, you know, I mean, you can't just get in one of the cars in the game and expect to, like, speed run it there because well, the other cars will catch up to you, shoot shoot your car up, and it'll, and, and they'll blow it up before you can even get there, you know, so, uh, man, yeah, it's a cool, it's a fun mode, it's a fun little mode, but, God, man, it's hard. You know, um, I don't even know what happens when you beat it. You know, that bonus mode. I have no clue. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna have to come back to the bonus mode, uh, but I have gotten 100% completion for this game. Uh, the only thing I haven't done, like I said, is beat the bonus mode, and I did not find all of the, uh, um, those Luxo Flux shoes, or 
whatever that scattered out through the whole game. I think I found like four or five of those. And, uh, but, uh, you don't need to collect the shoes to get 100% completion. So, <clears throat> so, you know, it's not, I don't know what happens when you collect all the shoes or whatever. So, but, um, yeah, great game. I, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. So now comes the part where I rate it. Okay. <sighs> Out of, um, uh, from one to five, Jack Madrax skulls. I rate true crime, New York City, a solid four and a half. Four and a half. Um, the reason I didn't give it a full five skulls is because. There was one thing that does get kind of, um, there's one thing that's kind of annoying to me about this game, is the clunky ass controls. Now, uh, the controls, um, eh, you know, you can't use the D-pad to move Marcus around, you gotta use the joystick. And, uh, it can be kind of frustrating when you're trying to, you know, uh, chase down criminals or whatever when they're running away from you on the street. It's kind of hard to maneuver sometimes when you're in one of those dire situations, which you will get into if you play this game. Where you're in a warehouse and you're taking down uh, an illegal goods cash or whatever. And uh, you got a whole bunch of guys shooting at you or whatever. And your health is getting really low. And you're just trying to duck, you know. Uh, or trying to hug the wall, you know, so that you don't get shot. But, uh, so yeah, sometimes it, it gets a little frustrating. The controls are kind of frustrating. But besides for the controls, everything else about this game was great. I really, I really enjoyed playing it, and uh, I mean, and I'm gonna come back to the bonus mode <sighs> once I'm not, once I'm, you know, not, you know, once I'm done not being so mad at it anymore. That really pissed me off. <sighs> but uh, yeah, so I give True Crime New York City. Four and a half Jack Madrox Skulls. It's a good game. I suggest you try it if you still have your PS2 or you're just getting back into it or whatever. And, uh, alright. So, that is my second completed game since my return to the PS2. This is Jack Madrox, YouTube World. I'm signing out. See you later. Stay spooky.